Bob's had an enormous impact in this community and the optics community as a whole, both, it's not just Rochester, but it's nationwide. He was literally the father of optical engineering, uh, someone who transformed uh, the way we study and teach optics here by focusing on the integration of uh, technology to a much greater extent than before. He was a teacher of teachers. Uh, students to this day will come up to me and proudly say, I studied under Bob Hopkins. Well, optics was certainly part of everything that went on in the family. So we were very much aware that he was in optics and highly uh, respected and, and uh, highly regarded, uh, both locally and internationally. And he wanted the this country to keep the leadership role in, in the uh, innovative things that were happening in, in optics. So I think that was part of why he started Tropel. In 1954, when Tropel was started, it was very unusual for a professor to ha have a company. It was unusual in the 60s and 70s, but in 1954, it was extraordinarily different. So one of the things we did was in order to find out what impact Bob has had on, on optics in this community and, and nationwide, is I found eight of his former students. Those eight people had started 15 companies. So I wondered what impact Bob had had on that. What I did learn is that, uh, that Bob did it, inspired them to go ahead and become uh, leaders and start their own companies. Certainly his, his name is remembered at the university and, and locally. Uh, I was particularly delighted that he was asked to select the projector at the uh, Strasbourg Planetarium. A wonderful entrepreneur and inventor, the Todd A.O. lens, uh, which was very popular in, in film uh, for decades, was, uh, was one of the products of his research. But what I think was the most enduring legacy of uh, Professor Hopkins was his ability to inspire and touch students. John was the leader in, in this community in getting Tropel to the level it was when it was finally acquired by Corning. The, the transition from a small operation with perhaps 20 to 50 people to one that had over 200 people was a major growth factor and it made it so that Tropel was a player in this field of uh, microlithography. John had created this team at Tropel of highly talented optical people and very sophisticated optical technologies. So Corning was purchasing acquired Tropel uh, for that technique. And that was the combination of the material science and manufacturing ability of Corning, combined with the optical talent and skills that John had that enabled Corning Tropel Corporation to go into new markets. He's contributed to the lives of the people of Chopel, the people of Corning Chopel, the Rochester community, what he's done here at the U of R, uh, what he's done through the Rochester Museum and Science Center. He's clearly had a major impact here at the Rochester Museum and Science Center. I mean, I think just his drive to t take us to the next level, he, we have completely rebuilt our long-range strategic planning and I think as a result, we will end up with a better science center for uh, the visitors of Rochester. Technical Advisory Group, TAG uh, for short, is a group that designs and builds science exhibits. John is just a terrific asset to have on TAG. John's ball launcher is probably his signature exhibit. There isn't a family that can walk by without going over and running it. He's brilliant. He's calm, he's thoughtful, he doesn't rush to make decisions. He takes evidence incredibly seriously. Uh, he's someone who understands uh, the big picture and then also understands, for example, as engineers do, how one fits together things and, and makes them actually work. He understands that the future of our country is innovation, the entrepreneurial spirit, the notion that we can never rest on the rut of our experience, but constantly have to change and improve, is very much part of John's DNA. He's uh, had significant accomplishments as a scientist and engineer. He's an inventor. He's an entrepreneur. He's a successful business leader, and I can't think of a better candidate. We are a city that is on the map because of fields like optics and photonics 
and these are two of our stars.